this video is a quick tutorial of Microsoft uh, whiteboard app uh, you need to install this app from the Microsoft store first by searching for Microsoft whiteboard so once you'll open this app uh, first time once you'll uh, open this app it will ask you for a sign in with a Microsoft ID so uh, you need to keep this thing in mind but once you are signed in uh, this is the interface you will get uh, when you when you open this and in this you as you can see that you will have the previously uh, prepared or done uh, whiteboards and uh, you can start your <coughs> job from where you have left or any of the whiteboard However, uh, if you want to start a new, uh, you need to press this and start a cre uh, create new whiteboard. So once the new whiteboard is open, you will have this interface towards the bottom side. As you can see that we have the different kinds of the pens. Um, I'm going to cover them um, in a short while. Uh, and then we have a highlighter, uh, the eraser, the scale is also there and there are additional features are there in this plus icon but we am going to start from the top right that is the settings once you'll plus uh, the settings in this drop down menu the first option is the active pen so if you have a tablet or a uh, if you're using a, um, a laptop which has an active pen you can enable this feature and then you can use the active pen for this if you do not have this then you can switch it off and then you can do it with the help of your fingers also but I am going to do it with my uh, active pen so I'm going to keep this option enabled so with the active pen you can do whatever you want to do whether you want to write something And in this, uh, I'm going to cover this, these pens, but let's uh, quickly cover the other options also. The second option is the ink to shape. Uh, so let's uh, see this option. Ink to shape is a feature in which once you will, once you have this feature on or selected, whatever the circle you would draw circle or shape you would draw it would convert into an actual shape like I'm going to try a box and as you can see that it has converted that box into an actual digital box and now I'm going to try a circle so it is a it has converted the circle shape into a circle now let's see a triangle and a rectangle it was uh, not accurate so it has not converted that into again it's not accurate anyways you get the idea that with the help of this as you can see that now it has converted that into a shape so this is the second feature which was uh, convert the ink into shape and the next feature uh, if, let's clear the canvas the next feature is ink to table so if this feature is enabled so with uh, the ink to table uh, if it is selected uh, you can draw a table with the help of your hand and then you will get these uh, symbols by pressing this you can increase the number of rows and the number of tables and then you can use this table for whatever the things you want to write in in these tables so this was the feature uh, ink to table the next is the whiteboard background so in this um, you can have the different kinds of the background like 
uh, now I have selected the dots you can have the graph paper of different scales uh, pair uh, boxes the cross uh, boxes uh, graph then this is a larger scale graph paper this is another version a type so these are the different types smaller uh, gaps line and then a uh, this one is the smaller one and this one was the larger spaced lines and uh, with the help of this you can convert the change the background color also there are multiple colors available you can see these colors in this ring so I'm just going to keep it to white and then I'm going to select this blank so this was the white board background and after you are done you can export the, it uh, this into an image form in a PNG format first let's come to the downside here we have the different colors uh, black orange blue green and then multiple colors uh, pens are also available there is a highlighter also then we have an eraser then we have a scale with the help of scale you can draw a straight line on the whiteboard so you can turn the you can rotate the scale and then you can draw the lines straight lines so this is how you can use the scale but over here we have the different thickness of uh, the pen this is the least one and let me show you the uh, most are the, the, the thicker uh, spe uh, pen ink and then these are the different colors like I select this orange color and from here I can select the thickness and uh, over here you will see the same uh, menu bar for all these colors uh, for this I am going to bring it back to black because this is how they are arranged however a, apart from these four colors you can see that we have a pink and a few other colors also uh, the multiple colors let me show you a demonstration these are the multi ink colors uh, which are also available I am not sure that in what kind of uh, thing you would like to use it but maybe once you are drawing something uh, you want to maybe use it and then we have a highlighter also available if you want to highlight something then you can highlight the writing also with the help of this highlighter and now the function of an eraser it is self explanatory once you will select this eraser you can delete or erase anything which is there on your whiteboard but you need to remember one thing that the shape which was if the shape is converted into an actual uh, digital shape now the this ink is uh, this eraser is not going to uh, erase this actual converted shape while you can erase these lines writings and everything else okay now the next features over here uh, if there is anything you have uh, if there is a text you have copied it from somewhere you can paste that thing over here as you can see that whiteboard text has been copied here and you can import the images from your computer we have a <coughs> you can like import the Bing images and then there is a text note also the interesting thing about this text note is
that once this text note is opened you will get a this space where if I do a handwriting it will convert that handwriting into uh, an actual text So you get the idea that uh, with the help of this you can have the <coughs> keyboard also and then you have different kinds of the keyboards you can use these keyboards and uh, by default you will get this uh, typing space rather, rather the writing space in which you can right and the this software or app will convert it into a text now once you are done with this you can uh, resize this and you can uh, adjust it according to your own uh, requirement and then you can zoom in or zoom out the whole whiteboard area so these were the all uh, major features I believe that this is a sync feature if you are signed in uh, all these notes uh, or whiteboards which you have uh, prepared here will be synced uh, in all of your Microsoft devices and uh, once you are done you can exit from pressing the backspace and over here you can uh, get all the uh, notes with the uh, last edited time if you will press this three dots you will get the um, pop-up menu in which you can invite the participants they can uh, share their ideas by drawing something or giving their input on the same whiteboard and you can export this into a PNG image let's do it and save it on the desktop give it a name and then press the save button and if I want to delete uh, any whiteboard I can simply press this and that whiteboard will be deleted and uh, if I want to rename that I can also do that So now I have a name uh, given a name to this uh, whiteboard. So this was uh, all about the Microsoft uh, whiteboard uh, uh, tutorial. If you like this video, hit the like button, share, and subscribe.